1992, world-renowned Scottish architect James Stirling died. Such was his impact that the Brits of the architectural world, the Stirling Prize, was started in his honour. Specialising in public buildings, he blended a spectrum of styles to create a new one, all of his own. Stirling looked to the past for inspiration. His first commission in 1955 was heavily influenced by Le Corbusier's Maison Jaoul. Swapping white for red brick, Ham Common flats were modern, but as British as bangers and mash. They were slagged off for being too brutal, but the flat set the trend for local authority housing for the next 20 years. It's a much rawer, more immediately communicable form of architecture. Sterling's next building caused an even bigger stir by taking modernism and making it playful. He modelled Leicester University's engineering building on a rocket. It looked way out, but it worked, combining workshops, offices and lecture halls on the same site. But it wasn't all plain sailing. His next two college buildings at Oxford and Cambridge were slated. In 1977, Stirling went to Germany and designed his masterpiece. Faszinierendes Gebäude, nicht? Ja, stimmt. Britische Architekt. He was determined to make architecture more accessible, so the Staatsgalerie Museum in Stuttgart is full of historical references. There's Egyptian entrances, Roman exteriors, and even a copy of a Le Corbusier balcony from the 1920s. It's a homage to the past masters. To add a sense of fun amongst the grandeur, he used quirky colours. And he also had a thing for stairs. He was great at staircases. I think uh, he, he really understood uh, the staircase as a, as a spine to a building. Good taste was something James Sterling actively avoided. He loved to surprise. He was a master of modern architecture and his style influenced a whole generation. <laughs>